Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in my this particular video, I am going to discuss one very interesting animation and we will be learning some very important functions, inbuilt functions present in MATLAB for visualizing 3D data which can be useful for visualizing uh, maybe decision boundary or decision surface or in any part in data science or machine learning or digital image processing domain okay so let's start our programming part i'll be discussing the concepts along with programming so first step what we write generally clc clear all close all warning off as we generally write okay now i want to create one particular surface which goes up and down smoothly okay like gaussian function okay so for that in this particular documentation if you check there is a function called peaks okay it basically create peak function which looks like this kind of shape okay let me show you kind of this shape okay see gaussian function you can understand these are nothing but gaussian function goes up and down and basically the mathematical equation which creates that particular uh, shape is this one okay here we need to pass x and y and for different values of x and y z value we will be getting that we can plot okay right so basically if you check the uh, syntax peaks is the function so we are going to use that so x comma y comma z equal to peaks that's it i am writing okay so what it will do it will create 49 cross 49 grid okay here you can see if you simply write peaks it returns z coordinates of peak function evaluated over 49 cross 49 grid so x varies from 0 to 49 y varies from 0 to 49 like that okay and it will be giving us the z values i am giving x y z so it will be returning us x coordinate y coordinate and z coordinate all of this okay so let's basically simply run this okay once that is done here we can write to get the data in terms of image let me show you image sc which i have already discussed on how to create image from matrix right image sc x capital x if we write c we'll be getting this kind of uh, distribution as expected okay so in x direction the values are changing y direction values are constant okay suppose i want to get the values of y as expected we will be getting in y direction the values will change in x direction it will be constant for a particular uh, y value okay right okay now suppose i want to check the distribution of z it will be having some ups and downs see here blue color means uh, the height is less yellow color means height is more like that okay now i want to get the surface plot okay so for that the surf function is there surf function creates three dimensional surface plot which is a three dimensional surface that has solid edge colors and solid face colors okay the color of the surface varies according to the height specified by z this takes three piece of input x y z value so we'll be passing this x y z via surf function h equal to surf of x y z let's run this okay so here we are beautifully getting the uh, surface plot okay i can write here rotate 3d okay and i can rotate this now according to mouse pointer c i hope you can understand how smoothly it is faring and this is kind of basically gaussian distribution only okay ups and downs but in a very smooth way right now what i want i want to basically show you one animation where you can see these small small grids are there those will be taking uh, random colors okay random grids will be taking colors and initially all the grids will be having no color and eventually we will be saturating and at the end of the animation all grids should get color like that i want okay so how we can do that so basically what i am going to do you can see here in the surf function it is clearly written the color of the surface varies according to the height specified by z that is this z parameter basically controlling the color so 
what we will do, we will initially make this z parameter all values as nan, that is not a number. Okay, in that case, it will this particular all the grids will be having no color, and eventually we will be starting giving values in this z, and slowly by slowly, all the grids will be getting color. Okay, so for that, what I can do here first, let me take lean space of one comma zero comma forty. What I am doing here, basically one to zero, forty equally spaced data points I am creating. Here, if you check in value, it is starting from one, going to zero, forty equally spaced data we are getting. Right now, what we can do? I will be using one for loop. Okay. Now here, basically this z, this particular is controlling the color. So we will be making some random z value as nan. Okay, and that will be sampling from our actual z. Okay, right. So see how I am doing. Indexes where actually z index I will be making. Null. Okay, for that, rand sample. Random sample. I'll be choosing from where? From this particular grid. Okay. So this peaks function. If you check, peaks function basically creates 49 by 49 grid. So basically, my range will be 1 to 49 square. Why here? I guess num lock is there. One to forty-nine square in this grid. What I'll be doing? I have to basically sample, and those will be making null. Okay, that is not a number. And then set our surface plot. Plot is age variable, comma. Surface surface plot color is controlled by C data parameter. Okay, color data. And that will be putting as z, okay, right? So when this iteration will be over, next time, again, for some new random indexes, z has to be assigned to null. So here we have put null. So again, in next iteration, if we don't again reset the z value, already this index will be null. Some, moreover, some more indexes will be null. That we don't want, right? So basically, I'll be executing this particular one. Once more, okay. That's it. Nothing else. And in between each successive iteration, I want to give pause. Okay, right. Up to this sounds good. But here, random sample. How much percentage we want? How much sample we want to take? Okay. Like, see, I can show you here. CLC. Rand sample one. First parameter should be one colon five. Suppose one to five, and two data points we want. It will be giving us five comma four. Again, three comma four. Like that. Random values I am getting, but here I need to pass how many values we want, right? So how many values we want? Here we need to specify. So for that, what we'll be doing here? This particular one we are going to use. Okay, that is n of i. Okay, multiplied by Forty-nine square. Why forty-nine square? Because our total grid is forty-nine uh, square is having its area, and among that, some particular part I want to take, and that Z indexes I want to make nan. Okay, how much percentage we want? So initially one in in of i value is one. That is all the Z values will be nan. Okay, so all the grids will be having no color, and eventually n value is decreasing. It is going from one to zero. Similarly, here this particular value will decrease, and as a result, lesser number of Z values will become nan, and as a result, lesser number of grids will not have color, and eventually more and more grids will be starting getting color. Okay. I hope this sounds good. Why here actually this will be one? Okay, one to length of n. 
Now let's run this and see this animation. Then it will be clear to us. See, I am running this. Sorry. Evaluate selection. See, initially it was complete, all the grids were empty, and eventually grids are started get, getting color. And at the end, actually, all the grids will be getting color. Is there any here? It's stuck. Size input must be integer. Okay. So here in rand sample, what error we are getting, this particular one is not taking integer value. But when we are sampling, we cannot say sample 3.5 data points, right? So seal or floor like this, some integer converter we need to use like that. Here I am using seal function, okay? In Java, in Python, whatever programming language you are using, I hope you have seen this and see eventually all these are getting completed. I am running once more, but little bit in slow motion. Okay. Evaluate selection. See how beautifully we are getting initially complete grids are empty. Then eventually data will appear. Okay. Color will appear. We have not got the updated value why let me check j of i equal to nan pause 0 0.2 when i am doing see eventually it is completing okay so what we have learned today we have learned about surf function for surface plot peaks function to get this kind of gaussian distribution having multiple peaks and if you don't specify any input parameter in the peaks function it will be creating 49 cross 49 grid okay then here rand sample for random sampling from a particular range this also we learned okay so i hope you have enjoyed this particular video this is nothing but kind, kind of an animation if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my latest videos thank you